In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Corey Webster from New Zealand. He is one of their best players, so this is definitely a very good player to break down so that we can all learn how to play just like him so that we can all become better ourselves. Let's get down, let's check out Corey Webster. A really good play really quickly is that you can have your shooter in the low block on a baseline inbounds, you can have a staggered screen set up at the elbow and then of course you can have another player out on this wing who cuts down and then Corey Webster cuts over top of the staggered screen. Now of course this is very good, this is what I call a wall screen and it's very similar to my S play that's on this YouTube channel. After that he's able to get open in the corner and he's able to rise up for a shot and believe me his shot does look very good he's got a very nice wide stance on this one that's to stop his momentum in that direction and then when he does rise up into a shot he's able to get his shooting triangle get that shoulder in line with his elbow and he's able to rise up for that shot this is why he is such a great player here we have him coming off of a dribble handoff and same thing he's able to set himself up and he's able to release at a very high angle you can see his elbow above his forehead and of course this is all because of that dribble handoff he was able to step into it right left and that will allow him and believe me everyone is different but that allows him to be able to step into a shot for a quicker release. Some players like to hop into it, he likes to step into his shots. And of course if he has a slower defender, he's going to do small quick hop steps back or step back shots for a nice three point shot. So here he gets that switch off of that screen, he's able to do a quick killer jab crossover whatever you want to call it and then he looks like he's about to go through his legs with the dribble but instead he gathers pushes off the right foot left right and up into the shot now coming in a fast break what he does is he likes to really attack the baseline and how he does this is if a player is forcing him towards that sideline what he wants to do is to do a quick in and out dribble attacking that top foot which freezes that defender so that now he can get past him for an easy layup. Corey Webster is also very good at reading the play here uh, right as soon as that screen happens he's able to recognize that that defender is not going to be able to stick with him and these defenders are not coming over to play help and because of that he's able to set up that player for an alley-oop which is a very nice pass. He was able to hit that player right on target. Now of course normally remember what I always say you always want to hit the bottom of the backboard but this player is not a player who's going to be throwing down massive dunks and from that angle it wouldn't work anyways so what you want to do is just lead that player so that it's perfect where he wants to jump off from so from here he wants to jump from that distance away let him send up that alley-oop to that, that location. This is when knowing your teammates is a very important factor and by knowing his teammate there he was able to set up for a good pass. I also really like that after a screen if a player is not defending him he can sky up for a shot fairly quickly. And why this is so quick of a shot is because he has a high set point and he also has a high release and he locks that elbow and keeps it up there so that he can have that high arc. He also uses the hesitation and crossovers to his advantage to be able to create space so that he can jack up even more three point shots. So what he does here is a quick hesitation, pushes off so he hops off left, pushes off left, right, and then he's able to cross over. He's able to then stop really quickly on his right foot, he goes right, left, right, through the right leg, step back, and then he's able to sky up for that shot. That is a very high level move and a very good move for him as well. He's also a very good defender. Here he's able to get that loose ball and jack up a shot very quickly before the defense even has time to react and set up. Sometimes even though most coaches will want you to set up the offense, if you have the ability to get a three before even being guarded like we see here, and the defense isn't set up that allows you to have multiple de multiple rebounders as well even though you're out rebounded here four to three you are having multiple players who are standing there doing nothing two who are actively looking to get the rebound and then you've got two players actively looking to get a rebound technically what you're looking at is a two on two and not a four on three mismatch when it comes to getting out rebounded and I really do like his shooting form. He has his shoulder and elbow in line towards the rim. He is slightly angled away from the rim, but that's to get that shooting triangle. He has that gooseneck, the very, the really soft release. We can see that he releases with three fingers. 
And then he also has a, I would say, a slight thumb flick. Very slight, like, more very similar to a Steph Curry type thumb flick. And that really does work for him. If you're looking to really improve your shot and your handles, make sure to go check out that heavy weighted basketball down below in the description. This is not a sponsored video. That's just something that I find that a lot of players are successful using. I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.